It's a beautiful day to you, our lovely and smart real estate investors, both at home and also in diaspora. I hope you all are doing well today. I'm super delighted to welcome you to another educative section of Property Matters here on YouTube. In case you're coming across this channel for the first time, this is where we discuss everything you need to understand about real estate investment. Whether you're doing a short-time investment, a long-term investment, or you're looking forward to understand how the investment works in the Nigerian real estate industry. We've done an extensive playlist on the Bejuleki. We've done an extensive playlist on Epe. We've done an extensive playlist on how to verify fraudulent real estate activities. We've even went as far as you know explaining some of the credentials that you need to look at whenever you want to pick your preferred real estate developer. So these are some of the things we've done over time to keep you informed so that you will not be making a very terrible real estate investment. So you are coming across this channel for the first time. I want to say a big congratulations to you. And I also want to endeavor, um, encourage you to, of course, endeavor to subscribe. I'll be back immediately after this short break. blend of commercial and residential living that provides an ideal environment for startups and global businesses to thrive in, whilst giving residents a tranquil and serene environment that guarantees a thrill of lifestyle and creation. Welcome to Itinu City, a commercial space and residential community spanning 100 acres. The commercial areas consist of parks and lakes for your leisure pleasure, a tech city where innovative and creative minds can work and thrive in, family entertainment center to enjoy joyful moments with your family, central business districts for corporate businesses and ventures, mini golf courses, gardens, knowledge parks, and lots more. The residential features include gated fence, security surveillance, 24 hours electricity, good road network, portable water, recreational facilities, central sewage system, and green areas. It is in close proximity to Ekpe Resort and Spa, the new international airport, Ekpe Fish Farm, Neander International School, and Craneburg Yard, Lagos. Investing in Itinu City gives you the opportunity to grow your money through land appreciation and capital gains with an initial deposit of 10 million naira for 1,000 square meters of the commercial plot and 5 million naira for 300 and 500 square meters respectively for the residential plot. And of course, you can get a flexible payment plan that is convenient for you. Now, all you have to do is call the number on your screen to get on board. You should get on board because the future is Itinu welcome back i'm super delighted to be on your screen today so today we're going to be talking about um the trends of investment in lagos nigeria i know you've seen over time that a lot of realtors are talking about um the you know the approval for the in international airport that was granted by the federal government of nigeria and of course the approval obviously marked you know a big turning point in the real estate sector in lagos nigeria a lot of land speculators have been going into such areas, you know, to get properties, to do a lot of things. And of course, this obviously is a good thing for Lagos economy and obviously for the economy of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So um, the international airport, of course, the approval for the international airport has been granted. Uh, so we want to say a very big congratulations to the government of Lagos and of course for a job well done in getting the approval. However, we also want to keep you informed that that obviously is one out of the several projects that will be coming in the Lekki Epe corridor. All right. So um, it was also discussed um, extensively a few weeks ago that the Lagos state government have received several bids for the construction of the proposed Fort Milan Bridge. We all know very well that there have been a lot of talk, there have been a lot of argument, there have been a lot of extensive consultation concerning the, um, the Fort Milan Bridge. Now, the great news that you all need to understand, basically, is that the Fort Milan, the preferred uh, bid, the preferred bidder for the Fort Milan Bridge will be announced by December um, 2022. This obviously is also a great news for Lagos economy and, of course, a great news for real estate investments. So before I go into details, I would want to show you and of course explain now the purpose of this video basically is to you know explain the economic importance of having a real estate investment 
in this region. And also, I will not just going to focus on um, having the real estate investment. I will also be discussing extensively the risk factors that are there. Now that ever since that um, the announcement for the airport has been made, even before the announcement for the airport was made, we realized um, over time that a lot of real estate developers are moving towards that access to get landed properties, to get investment for smart investors like you to you know, buy and of course have an inheritance or have a portion or your share of the, you know, the proposed international airport. But what many people don't understand basically is that whenever you're doing a real estate investment within the section, you need to understand the risk factors that are involved. And that is why um, this section of property matters will be explaining the opportunities as well as the, um, the risk. Remember, we are, uh, we are committed for you to have an extensive information and we hope that this information will help you make an informed decision. Remember, our priority is to ensure that you make a safe, genuine, and of course, profitable real estate investment so that when that area begins to boom, you will have something you can point at. And of course, you will have us to thank for helping you making these wonderful investment decisions. So I will be back immediately after the time. So I'm going to be showing you a documentary that shows the importance of having an investment that is very close to the airport. So do well to sit down, relax, enjoy this documentary, and I will back to give you more and more insight, insightful in information. That will help you to make a very good um, decision. See you immediately after this documentary. International airports are major gateways of any country, and country perception via the gateway is always impactful. As Nigeria continues with its five airport infrastructure upgrade after the commissioning of the Abuja and Portakot International Terminals, built under a bilateral funding arrangement between the federal government and the People's Republic of China, it's now the turn of Lagos with a terminal that is capable of processing 14 million passengers per annum and is located on the 56,000 square meters of land adjacent the Muritala Mohammed Airport in Lagos. The attendant economic benefits of this new terminal is our interest. At the formal commissioning, the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria is also expected to sign a memorandum of understanding with the Lagos State Government over the construction of a 9-kilometer airport Shasha Alimosho link road, which is expected to ease traffic around the airport. From the baggage claim area of the new terminal at the Muritala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos, Bukola Joe Uketumbi, Channels Television News. All right, welcome back. I'm super, super delighted to be on your screen today. So the very first thing you have seen from um, the documentary basically is that project like the international airport that is proposed will bring a lot of endless investment opportunities to people who seize and take advantage of this. Now, I'll be using the Ikeja International Airport as a case study and I'll also be giving you a statistical analysis of the worth of property as well as office spaces. Do you know very well that whenever we have big infrastructures like the airport, um, it opens that particular region to both foreign and local investors.
And that is why you need to understand that having an investment in this region for someone who wants to earn a good return on real estate investment, um, a good real estate investment in this region is not negotiable. So you've got to understand that an investment in this region will increase your net worth and make you a billionaire. And the reason why I'm so, so convinced that an investment in this region will make you a billionaire is because I've seen several case studies of um, investors at um, Ikeja, Ikeja GRE, Ikeja, of course, mo most of that areas of the Ikeja Airport Road apartments, a lot of real estate value have skyrocketed because the activities of foreign and, of course, local investors that we have. But very quickly, before I go far, I need you to understand very well that there are a lot of risk factors. So what I'll be doing basically, before I go to the benefit basically, I'll be explaining the risk factors that is attached to the international airport. Um, I've been talking about this international airport for a while and I've explained several times that um, a lot of, um, some, I don't want to be misquoted, some developers basically are in this industry basically because they want to earn profits. So sometimes most of them don't put a lot of considerations. They don't do a thorough due diligence before doing um, a real estate investment in that region. A um, few weeks ago, we, a oh, few months ago, <laughs> to me it was like weeks. Okay, so a few months ago, I was opportune to go to where those proposed international airport is now the very first notion i need to correct is that the international airport is not at ekpe i've seen a lot of information flying the internet um, flying the internet a lot of people misinforming investors that the international airport is coming to ekpe the international airport no please our there are very uh are there investors whether you are at home or whether you're in diaspora the international airport is not at Ekpe. The international airport is at Ayetoro area of Ibetuleki. Now, when you look at the Ayetoro, Ayetoro and the Elenrogbe axis are like both border town. So the international airport will be at Ayetoro, and the nearest um, border town to Ayetoro is Elenrogbe. So from Ayetoro, you can access Elenrogbe in less than five to seven minutes drive. So we can boldly let you know that the international airport is at Ayetoro, not far from Elenrogbe Access, okay? So you really need to understand that so that whenever you're making an informed decision, okay, you will not be making decision based on the sentimental information or some um, uh, unprofessional information that is circulating the uh, internet, misleading people that the international airport is, is at Epe. No, it's not at Epe. The international airport will be situated at Ayetoro. However, you need to all understand that once the international airport kicks off, it's going to be of immense value to the people of Epe. From Ayatoro to Epe is less than eight minutes drive. So um, if there's going to be significant development in the Ayatoro, that development, because of the presence of the international airport, will be extended to Epe because Epe, just like Ellen Rogbe, is also like a border town to Ayatoro. So you need to understand these factors and you need to put them into serious consideration. Now, let me quickly go into the risk factor so that we won't waste so much time. Now, one of the risk factors that you need to understand basically is that if you are doing an investment, okay, in any area that is very close to the international airport, the very first thing you need to put into consideration is that do not buy an untitled property in this region. I'm going to say this again. Do not buy an untitled property in this region. Now, the reason for this basically is that, that the international airport, according to our research, is proposed to take more than 14,000 hectares of land. Okay? So, in the process of trying to set up the international airport, the Lagos State government will be taking a whole lot of land. So, the places that will be affected during this setup or during this you know, inauguration of this airport will be lands that Lagos State have not been given title. So the very first thing that you should put into consideration is that don't buy an or titled land. And if you're going for a titled land, you need to do what we call a thorough land 
search. There was a developer, um, there was a place I was taken to to check. Okay, so someone contacted me online. So I went there with my um, team of surveyors and we checked. And we found out that where that developer mounted the signboard, where the proposed estate is supposed to be, is along the runway. So is one is, is along the runway for the aircraft that will be you know operating at the airport. And you know, it was quite unfortunate that a lot of investors have ignorantly bought this place without understanding that that place was not meant to have an estate. Okay, so the, the next thing you need to do is that apart from title search, you need to do a thorough search. That thorough search will tell you where the airport is situated. It's going to tell you where it is dedicated for aircraft landing. It's going to tell you where we're going to have the proposed road. It's going to give you an extensive overview of where we're going to have the restaurants and all that government projects that were coming to those access. So before you buy a property in that region, you need to be sure. Now, this is not just a verbal assurance that has been given to a lot of people. You need to be sure that your investment is not close to this project. Okay. So after you've done that, okay, then you can now go ahead with your investment. So these are some of the risk factors that are, that are involved. And I need you to understand this so that whenever you're making an investment, you'll be making an informed investment. I hope you've gotten a lot of value from that. So after you've done, of course, untitled property in that area is a no-no. Number two, a thorough search to find out that where you're buying uh, is, um, is not under the project or anywhere close to the airport. Then number three, you need to be strategic. Now, a lot of people have been shouting, buy land in a, very, uh, in a place that is very close to the airport now the very first thing i need to uh, i need to explain to you um most of our investors basically is that if you're doing any project that is very close to the airport you should have it in mind that the project that will blow them that the project that will give you high return on investment are projects that are um that are strictly for commercial very recently i was doing the thorough research on the Ikeja airport, and I was looking at the businesses, the offices, the shops, the malls that we have, and I found out recently that per square meter for an office space at the airport, of course, for um, projects or offices or houses very close to the airport, I found out that um, landlords or shop owners or office owners charge 190,000 Naira on a monthly basis for one square meter. I'll explain that. So that means you get to pay 190,000 Naira monthly per square meter. Imagine if you don't want to, you need an office space of maybe 300 square meter or 600 square meter. When you do the math, when you do the calculation, you know how much you'll be paying on a monthly basis. So whenever you're doing an investment, you should be strategic. Your investment should be commercial driven okay now the reason why your investment should be commercial driven is that as aircraft begins to land as aircraft begins to move you know the noises of the planes and some other things like that will you know will create a lot of discomfort for investors okay so if i were you if i want to do a, a, a real estate investment in whether the ayatollah axis or the elerangbe axis or the effect okay of course you can do residential effect, I will focus majorly on commercial. So I will be looking forward to, okay, where am I going to situate my office space? Where am I going to situate, situate my shops? Where am I going to situate my malls? So what can you do? That's one of the reasons why I said you have to be strategic. So if I'm to do an investment there, it will be strictly for commercial. Okay, I'm looking forward to how to build. Perhaps you may be thinking, I want to do a five-star hotel. I want to do um, um, a, a, a cinema. I want to build a school. Okay. Now, I want to do. I want to build a school. I want to build malls like what we have at Ikeja. If you have been to Ikeja, you will notice the Ikeja City Mall. The owners of that period, of that mall will not 
experience, the owners are forever rich. For the rest of their life, they'll be you know, earning a return of their investment. So if I were to be you making an investment decision, I will focus on what doing commercial um, um, investments in either Aitoro, Eleron Bay Axis, where we have the airport. Well, if you insist on doing um, a residential, yes, you can do a residential, but your residential basically should be for short lets, short stays, you know, maybe rental apartment, two or three bedroom apartments. And, you know, these are some of the things you can do, okay? But I'm looking at basically because of the activities of the aircraft, moving, landing, blah, blah, blah. Just like what we have at Ajao Estate, all these Ikeja Airport Estate, there have been a lot of activities of aircraft. So I, I, I'm, I'm very, very sure that people, that will be like a disturbance to people. So you have to be strategic. Now, what is now the advantage? Now, the advantage is that the airport is going to make a whole lot of people billionaires. I was doing a research yesterday and I found out that two bedroom apartments at airport road, two bedroom apartments at airport road goes for 57 million naira. I went further, okay, <laughs> to do an expansion, um, of course, a research on what landlord charges for um, duplexes. And I found out that four bedroom fully detached duplex at Ikeja GRE. Um, um, airport road goes for 250 to 300 million naira. Now, put yourself in this shoe. If you happen to now be <laughs> the owner of that property, how much do you think you'll be worth two to five? Two to five or six years after that investment. Okay? So you need to understand that an investment in this region is going to make those people who are investing now billionaires. Now, I've, all, I've also corrected this notion that whether you are in the country or not does not necessarily matter. You can own an investment in Nigeria, earn rental income, and use the money to do whatever you want to do abroad. In as much as fact that everything seems to be on the high side of Nigeria, real estate is still profitable. Okay, so LRM Bear Axis, Ayatoro Axis, Epe Axis is going to experience what we call quantum leap. There's going to be a lot of massive, massive transformation in that area. And I foresee that landowners there are going to be billionaires by the time they're done with the airports, by the time the deep sea ports start. In fact, I hope you know that there's a road from Ekpe that connects Ekpe to Ibejuleki straight to the refinery. Okay? Imagine all these activities pick up Landowners, whether at Ibejuleki, whether at Ayutur, whether at Elerongbe, whether at Ekpe, will be billionaires. Okay, so these are some of the things you need to understand about owning um, an apartment or owning a land. Now, of course, in this area, you don't find an apartment that suits your need. So, what you can do basically as a smart investor that be all, that you've always been is to own landed properties, okay? So in case you want to know the kind of land you want to buy, just send me a DM. We have a lot of, you trust me. <laughs> you, you guys should trust me that I've done an extensive um, list. One of such properties that I'll be announcing very quickly is, is Glory Court, okay? You know, one thing I love about this property basically is that um, is Glory Court is, is a governor's consent. It has a governor's consent title. So, so in case you want to know more about his glory court, just send me a DM and um, I will be super, super delighted to give you all the necessary information about that. So this is where I'm going to be drawing the court claim of today's analysis on property matters. And of course, I'll be doing more explanation, okay, on what you need to know. So basically, before I draw uh, the court in for today's episode, why do you need an investment? Number one, land investors in Elenrobe, land investors at Ayetoro, land investors at um, Ekpe. Once the international airport project kicks you know, um, fully, there will be demand for land, there will be demand for houses. And you know, 
like I've always been telling investors in Nigeria, there is nobody regulating price. So it is possible for you to buy a property for five million and sell for 60 million and sell for 100 million. It's a choice of whoever wants to buy. And then it also depends on what the person wants to do. So owning a, um, a landed property in Nigeria is one of the best investment decisions you can take. So this is where I'm joining the curtain. Thank you very much for following us. Do well to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Have a nice day.